a completely random idea. I want to make contact lenses for dolls that are reusable. I have no idea if this is going to work, but there is only one way to find out, and that's to give it a try. I am going to use gloss Mod Podge, acrylic paint, a paintbrush, and a plastic bag. Now that we have our supplies, I need a picture of my doll. Of course you want a picture! The camera loves me! Sophie, just have a seat on the stool, please. Fine. Say cheese! Okay, now you can go. Thank you. And we might as well get a few other dolls since we're already here. Like Ariel, our made-to-move Mal, and a Shoppie. I printed out the pictures, measuring the eyes, to make sure they are the same size. So now we have a template that we can use to make our contacts. Take a large, clear Ziploc bag, place the picture inside, using Mod Podge, paint a thin coat right over the iris, onto the plastic bag. Since Mod Podge is white and it dries clear, you can see exactly where you're painting. Allow it to dry. I'm going to try this metallic aquamarine, put a little on the paint palette. Now that the Mod Podge is dried, we can see the iris, so I add the aquamarine right over it. Ooh, let's add a little glitter. Paint the pupil, use white to add a little shine. Once it's completely dry, Seal it with a layer of Mod Podge. And allow it to dry again. While waiting, I go ahead and prep the other doll's eyes. Let's give Sophie some purple and lavender eyes. I'm finding the Barbie eye to be a little tricky because it is just so small. And I'm trying to fade it from dark purple to lavender. I really gotta concentrate here. That looks about right. Should we add glitter? Why not? It's experimentation day. I want to try the purple eyes again on the shoppy. I'm starting with purple on the outer edge. Fade in a metallic blue, then a tiny touch of a pale blue right on the inside. Of course, we have to add our glitter. I used paradise glitter with a little touch of silver. Paint the pupil black. Then I added a dark purple glitter right onto the pupil. Add a white dot. I found these glitter stars at the dollar store. They're used for nail art. I apply a little Mod Podge right onto the eye, then glue on the star. For Mal, let's do something a little different. I want to make dragon eyes. So right now she just has regular green eyes. So I'm gonna go around the edge with a dark green, then add a brighter green on the inside. And we're gonna fill in the whole pupil here. Kind of looks like an avocado at the moment, but now I am going to add metallic gold right to the center. Then make a line going down the center. I like it! Now, I wouldn't want my doll's eyes to look like this all the time, which is why colored contact lenses are a great option. Ariel's contacts are now dry, so let's see if this works. Very carefully, peel it from the plastic, and we have a little tiny contact! And we can place it right onto her eye, just like real contacts. And it worked! She has glitter contacts! <laughs> yes! The glitter adds so much dimension to the eyes. It just looks so detailed. Let's add the other contact. Just tilt your head back, Ariel, so we can get that contact in. Once you get it over the iris, just apply a little bit of pressure to make it stick. Now I can change my doll's eyes sparkly without having to commit to the change. If I make a mistake while painting, oops, I could just make another one. 
Okay, Ariel, there are a few things you should know about your contacts. I suggest that you don't put them on until you're sure that they are 100% dry. Don't wear them for extended amounts of time, like make sure you take them off after you're finished playing. And I wouldn't wear them when it is very warm, just in case the Mod Podge decides to melt a little bit and sticks to your eyeballs. To store the contacts, I cut a piece of plastic. This came off of a doll box. Carefully remove the contact from the doll's eye and place it on the plastic. And my doll is back to normal. I would not use the contacts on dolls that can close their eyes because I would be nervous that they would get stuck under their eyelids. Use Mod Podge to make the contacts thicker, making it easier to remove them because when they're thin, they tear easily. And I just gotta say, the shoppy eyes are so adorable. It's like staring into the galaxy. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting. To give a shout out to awkwardness in a can. What's up? Ah! Sophie, what is it? What's wrong? I lost a contact lens. Don't move. Whoa.